Okay, so you're going to Matthew. Is that the Old or the New Testament? Old. Here's no, Matthew. Matthew. What is it? This is Matthew right here. I know. Is it the Old or the New old. Testament? I mean New. New Testament, yeah. I okay, mean. so go to Matthew 6. So the disciples were... I'm already. I know, it's okay. I'm just going to give you some backstory. The disciples are saying, you know, basically asking Jesus, how should we pray? Um... And so that's where we find the Lord's Prayer, which is what we've been learning. So it starts in verse 9 of chapter 6. Um, so, okay. Caleb and I wanted to show you that one of the things that we've been doing, really kind of before the quarantine left, but then this has given us just a little bit of extra time to be able to do it, is learning scripture, learning prayers in the Bible. Um, we've learned some Psalms um, in the Bible. And so, you know, I feel like these are things that... Um, the Bible talks about us hiding God's word in our heart. And so this is a great opportunity for you to teach scripture to your kids um, so that they can have that for the rest of their life. So that when they're in college or when they're going through things, their first thing that they think of is scripture or prayer or any of these kind of things. That's what I long for my children is for that to be their first go-to and not their last resort. Um, so one of the things we've been learning is the Lord's Prayer. So it goes a little bit like this. I would say, okay, our Father who art in heaven. Our Father who art in heaven. Hallowed be thy name. Hallowed be thy name. So at that point, when we were first learning this, Caleb would say, what does hallowed mean, Mom? And so we'd talk about how that means it's honor to his name and those kind of my, things. My, um, my thing doesn't say um, hallowed. Mine says, may your name be honored. See, that's perfect. So that tells us exactly what it is because you've got a children's Bible, so it makes it a little bit easier to understand. So that's really good. Oh, and just to let you know, my Bible is called N-I-R-V Adventure Bible for Early Readers with a lion on it. <laughs> yes, this is a really good one too. Okay, so, hallowed be thy name. Your kingdom come. Your kingdom come. Your will be done. Your will be done. On earth as it is in heaven. On earth as it is in heaven. All right, so we've actually been learning this one for a little while, so do you think you can say it mm -hmm. all the way through? I can definitely yeah. say that. I'm okay. going to close my Bible just to make sure. Okay. Okay. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom will come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us for our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And not to lead us to temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the glory and the power forever and ever. Amen. <laughs> Good job. So I just encourage you, take some of this time that you have a little bit of extra time. You may do it at nighttime with your kids whenever you're saying their prayers at night or um, singing a song. Sometimes we'll sing a song at night. So many of the scriptures have been put to song. So that may be a way that you help your kids learn it. But I'd love to hear what you're doing during this time. I'm trying really hard to have family devotions. It doesn't happen all the time because we're not always home. My older kids are usually gone somewhere tonight they were at the high school now there's another friend over or whatever um so i know that can be challenging but i believe that god will give you the desires of your heart he tells us that he will and that's a desire of my heart for my kids to know his word and to be able to pray and those kind of things so um let us know how what are you doing with your family to um, do those things and take some extra time to let your kids learn some of the psalms or i encourage our youth always to look at the proverbs because there's 31 of them so you can read a proverb every day of the month um and there's really a lot of wisdom in that okay but you're having something. a great day um and also i have a little tip that i do usually if you like if you see a bible verse and you like it Leave your Bible open and put a bookmark in there, and then you can close it. So if you want to read it again, since you like it so much, you can just open it to the bookmark, and you can read your favorite verses and stuff. Yeah. That's why I have three things marked. He's using a fork for a bookmark. He told me to do it. <laughs> yeah. In that's a good idea. Yeah, that's a great way to see it. All right. We love y'all. We miss you, and we hope you have a great rest of your week.